from the start, it was Charlie Cruz in the 43 car got the hammer down, but watch the second second place car on the grid. That was aggressive from Sally Yonok. Race control thought later, too aggressive. A penalty came his way. It didn't stop Garnet Patterson in the United Autosports car for coming through claiming second. Watch the yellow car behind, though. Mira Konopka, a spin, and very lucky not to get collected by 38 other cars. Charlie Cruz had this quick spin, had to rejoin at the very back of the field, and it was a fight back from there to the win. 22 car started by Phil Hansen would pick his way through the field to lead and a very different strategy for United Autosports to try to help their gentleman drivers later in the race paid off to a degree the 11 here and the 18 360 racing going for the lead here after starting from the very back of their grid and behind the GTs too both these cars though would later hit trouble this was a fabulous overtake by the uh, number three car on the 24 through traffic as Jim McGuire tried to defend in traffic after a restart. Three and four wide as the race got going after another intervention. 43 car, that's a Christian Bogle going well. So the Interior plan began to come together. D station racing with the mix all day. Garage 59 2. A little bit of bodywork uh, contact between the two earlier in the lap. This time, McLaren made it through. This was a moment. Huge impact for the number 65 car. Happily, Douglas Koo was okay after what we now believe was contact with the number 60 Ferrari. And then, under caution, everybody was in. And it was in the pits as well as on track that battles were won. Great pass here for the 24 on the 25. That made the difference ultimately for a podium position for the defending champions from Nielsen Racing. And into the darkness, still the battles weren't won. This was the critical pass for the lead with Nolan Siegel finally getting by a defensive Charlie Eastwood. And with Inter Europol winning the battle in the pits, that was game over for the race win. It would be the 43 car that came through. What happened last night was reversed tonight. Graf Racing putting a move on the MV2S car, not for the win, but for second place in LMP3. But it would be the 43 car in the hands of Nolan Siegel that would get away and finally bring home the bacon, bring home the win for Inter Europol. Second race here at Dubai uh, Autodrome to the delight of the Polish team, multinational team in fact. In GT, hard fought battle for second and third, but it was a rampant win again, a second win for the Vulcan uh, Motorsport uh, BMW ahead of the number 10 AMG and the 21 Ferrari. And LMP3, Decar Engineering would come home a faultless win ahead of Graf Racing and MV2S. Very different looking podiums. Point situations are going to be up in the air. Great race in all three classes for the second night in succession. We move on to Abu Dhabi.